And while many of us focus on last minute holiday shopping and plans with family, flu and RSV is here right now. So joining us this morning is Dr. Sharag R. Patel. Good morning. Thank you for being here with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So uh, tell me about these cases. Are we seeing um, high levels of flu and RSV cases right here in Jacksonville? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so there's three that are on our minds, right? So we've got COVID still, influenza, and RSV. Uh, the Florida Department of Health releases a weekly update. Uh, and last week uh, in Northeast Florida, we saw the COVID case rate be in between 14 to 19 percent, depending on which county you're in. Uh, and since mid-November, that case rate has actually risen. In the past month alone, there's been a near doubling of confirmed cases in Florida. Uh, influenza similarly hit nearly 20 percent uh, the week of Thanksgiving. Uh, and RSV peaked in the summer spiked again in October, but since then has come down and remained steady around 8%. So the message here is it's not just about one viral illness that's out there. It's about multiple viral illnesses that we need to be protecting ourselves from. Wow. And why are viral illnesses higher this season? You know, typically around this type, time of the year, there's a lot of gatherings, a lot of visitation, a lot of travels. Uh, historically, you know, we call this the flu season. Uh, in 2019 and 2021, we saw a doubling of case rate in ED visits just after Thanksgiving. Um, what happened this year, though, surprisingly, was we saw that case rate double just after Halloween. And since that time, the cases have remained steady uh, and really continue to be twice as high as what they've been typically uh, during that viral illness. Uh, additionally, the fact that the flu strain this year is, is a pretty significant one, AH3, um, that one tends to be more virulent and spread a whole lot easier. And it tends to make people a lot sicker than they will with other strains of the flu. And we know everybody's bodies react differently to these viruses. Who would you say is most at risk this season? Yeah, there's four main categories uh, that you have to consider of people who are at higher risk for becoming ill. So you've got those who have a compromised immune system, meaning that they've got a weak response, or in other words, either their immune system is slow to respond or doesn't have enough to mount a response. That second category are children, and that's because they have a typically underdeveloped immune system, right? Their immune system is still learning with age and exposure. The third bucket is older adults, and that's just because of a taxed or overworked immune system over years and years uh, of fighting infections. And then lastly is anybody who has a chronic illness like diabetes, cancer, obesity, asthma, emphysema, their immune system is, is spread thin because its attention is focused on other illnesses or conditions. And so there's a lot of people out there who can be at risk for a lot of different reasons. And before we run out of time, Dr. Patel, uh, what can we do to stay safe this holiday season? Yeah, you know, despite new viruses, new variants, uh, prevention strategies are still the same as what we've stressed from the beginning of this pandemic. Uh, good hand hygiene, don't touch your eyes and mouth. If you're going to be in a crowded space, make sure it's got good circulation. And if you're med medically eligible, get fully va uh, get vaccinated and get your booster when it's your time. Uh, and the last thing is, gosh, if you're sick, uh, stay home, rest, contact your doctor by staying home and avoiding others. You're going to reduce the chance that you spread what you have to other people and you keep them safe. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Dr. Patel. It was great information and a pleasure having you on this morning.